Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you an, a new way to how we can automate the process of finding XSS on real world application. So everything that we're going to do is on a live application. So let's see how we can do this. But as always, before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video on my YouTube channel, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also, for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website, which is bpractical.tech, then guys, you are missing a lot of interesting things. Just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website where you can just do a bunch of interesting stuff like you can go and play with our account takeover labs which are based on real world scenarios in which you're going to learn that how we can take over or compromise anyone's account because of the web applications misconfiguration right and now with that being said let's get started so the tool that we're going to use in this particular video is known as xss Fives, which is developed by me of course so let's see how we can use this tool so this is the tool over here so this link is also given in the description you can just clone it so this tool is you know what this tool is going to do is going to check the target response to the uh, different uh, ca characters right so we have dangerous characters like less than greater than single quote and double quote we know that these characters are necessary in order to execute xss right so this tool is going to check all those characters on this application and based on the behavior like which characters are reflecting and which characters are not reflecting it is going to use payload from this payload.json file and the thing is you can customize this payload.json file according to you so if you have uh, encountered a new payload if you have developed a new payload then you can just add this payload into this tool and it will work like magic on any other uh, target which you are testing right so let's see how we can use this so first thing first let's just clone this repository into our machine so i'm going to so i'm just going to open my command prompt like this and let's go fetch let me just log into my vps so my vps will be there let me just create a new directory let's say uh for the demonstration i'm going to see let's say video right and now we are here let's see how we can use this tool so first thing first let's just clone this repository so we can just type get clone and just paste it like this right and as you can see the cloning has been completed now we can just go to the xss swipes and we can just uh, install this requirements.txt and yeah make sure to install python in your machine so you can just go and type sudo ability install python 3 minus y and just like that the python 3 will get installed into your machine and then you can just type pip 3 install minus r requirements dot text okay uh, sorry not text just requirements uh requirements yeah that's good and as you can see uh, everything is already satisfied and now we are good to go and now we can use this tool so if we go down over here we'll see how we can use this tool so this is the installation part and we need to specify minus f which is the file name that contains a bunch of links and minus o in which the output will, is, is going to be stored right and these are some people who have contributed in this project along with me so a uh, huge uh, shout out to ashir pathan and kunal and let's see now how we can use this tool so i'm just going to keep it over here and let's say for example let's test this on a test website which is known as testphp.vulnerable.com and then later on we're going to test it on live application as well so first thing let's try to capture all the links uh, of the particular target which is testphp.vulnerable.com for now so you can type uh, katana minus u http testphp.vulnerable.com minus o and let's say katana.txt let's hit enter let's wait for a second so it's going to crawl all the links from this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, target right and see we have mixed links right we have links containing parameters we have links containing uh, nothing interesting like a simple path right so the tool is automatically going to short or filter all these links containing parameter and then it's going to start uh, testing for xss over there right we don't need to specify anything so we can now type python 3 main.py minus f and the file name here is katana dot text minus o for the output and you can just type like xss dot text let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that as you can see it has identified first parameter and then it's going to first the parameter for different uh, uh characters let's wait a few seconds and as you can see in this parameter it's going to first all these characters first 
and based on these characters is going to use the particular payload that will eventually get us process scripting right let's see so as you can see even let's say if you are not getting any payload but if you're getting this ref, uh, response still it means that you can be able to you know uh, manually add some payload which can you know bypass that particular target right since we know that these things are reflecting so we can create come up with our own custom payload and which we can later add in this particular tool right now as you can see we got this uh, link which is showing this cat parameter is vulnerable to this particular payload let's try to see and let's try to verify this whether it's working or not so you can just go and open it like this and uh, now we can just copy the payload like this you can just get rid of this and as you can see the payload is uh, successfully executed right so this is how we can use this tool now enough of this and let's try to see that how we can use this tool on a live target let's see how we can do that so the target on which we are going to test this particular tool is this one which is ai console.in so now let's try to see if we are able to find any vulnerabilities on this particular target what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this and just clear it out and let's try to see if our tool is going to find any vulnerability on this particular target or not so we can just uh, create a new directory for this particular target ai council go to this target directory and now we can just first of all let's try to uh do uh crawling basic crawling let's do this and let's save this file to let's say urls.txt okay uh yeah so the spelling is yeah now it's good and let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see this particular uh, target has a lot of uh you know uh, links right let's see if our tool is able to find something on this particular target or not so we're going to wait for a few seconds until the scanning gets complete and then we can just uh, use the particular tool on this particular target so as you can see the scanning has been completed now and uh, i'm just going to move this back to the previous directory like this and then i can type python3 main.py minus f urls.txt minus o and let's specify the uh, file as ai council dot xss dot txt okay let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that as you can see the scanning has been completed and right now as you can see we've got our very first payload and on this particular vulnerable link right let's try to verify this so i'm just going to copy this like this let's paste it over here like this and then we can just copy the payload and we can just paste it like this then yeah as you can see we are successfully able to execute javascript code right so as you can see now on this target the first payload that it is going to try is this one right so it will load dynamic payload based on the target's uh, behavior right so let me just stop it for now and now uh let's see how we can add our custom payload on this particular program what we can do is we can just type python3 adder.py and hit enter right so it will say that enter the payload so we can enter any payload let's say you have encountered an application on which only double quotes is allowed so we can add a payload like on load alert one right so you have encountered a web application where you have used this payload because the application was only using double quotes right so this payload was successful to you so you, you can just add it like this and into the in this enter the attribute field you can just add double quote because uh, we need to escape from the double code right so double code is very important part plays an important part over here so we can just add this and we can just hit, hit enter and it will say that payload has been added we can just verify that that by typing cat payload start json and you'll see we have this new payload added over here right so if now if this application this particular tool ever encounters an application on which only double quotes is allowed then it's going to prioritize this payload right so yeah this is how we can use this tool so please let me know if you have any doubts or any issues regarding using uh, the uses of this tool so if you like this video then please let me know through the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development right so we are going to uh, publish this tool as open source so if you are ever interested to add more payloads in this tool or uh, if you want to uh, if you want to add some more features on this tool then you can let us know through the comment section or you can just let us know uh, through our uh, email address and then we'll be happy to uh, 
pull pull that particular code in this particular tool right so with that being said if you like the way i teach then i'm currently learning two courses the first one is hacking windows python where i'm going to show you that how you can hack anyone's uh, machine windows machine basically by bypassing any antivirus by creating our own custom payload that can execute system commands and do a bunch of interesting and dangerous stuff and the second course which i'm running is known as bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where i'm going to show you that how we can uh, dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that can compromise anyone's account because of the web applications misconfigured. So yeah, if you're interested, then go ahead and check it out. Both of these courses links are given in the description. And now with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking and thanks for watching.